All right, so now we're going to talk about intensity level, DBIL. The decibel, as with intensity ratios in the bell, is ambiguous unless we have that reference intensity specified. Once the reference is there, there should be no confusion. So a statement such as the relative intensity of a sound is 86 decibels in reference to 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared, that being our reference, is explicit. So we know the relative intensity is 86 decibels. The reference is 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared. So we had an absolute compared to a reference. And it gave us the relative value of 86 decibels. To calculate what that absolute value was, we could just plug in the different values in the formula. So the potential for confusion is lessened by the adoption of a conventional reference intensity. 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared. So this is our new reference for good for this class. 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared. Any intensity can be used as the reference for expressing the relative value. But when our reference is 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared, we're talking about dB intensity level, dBIL. When the reference is 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared, we're talking about an intensity level, DBIL. Okay, DBIL. DBIL, when we have a reference 10 to the negative 12 watt per meter squared. Here are some more, um, some more problems for us to work on. The relationship between the absolute intensity in watts per meter squared to the reference. So remember, our reference from now on is 10 to the negative 12. So we can have an absolute of 10 to the negative 5 compared to the reference 10 to the negative 12, and what do we get? Negative 5 minus the negative 12 equals a positive 7. 7 bells. Turn it into decibels. Times it by 10, 70 decibels. Let's do the one below it. Use the absolute value 10 to the negative 6 over the reference, 10 to the negative 12. Negative 6 minus the negative 12, positive 6. Make it deci times it by 10, 60 decibels. I-L, intensity level. And we're talking intensity level because our reference is 10 to the negative 12. So on and so forth. When the absolute and the reference are the same, your DBIL is 0. Okay, so the week, each tenfold increase in sound's intensity, DBIL increases additively by 10. Or if the Absolute decreases progressively by power of 10. For each power of 10 decrease in intensity, the dBIL decreases by 10 dB in these examples that we've spoken about. So to solve these problems, first select the proper equation that we've spoken about. If a problem concerns the intensity of a sound wave, the number of decibels equals 10. Remember, because we're talking deci. Log exponents base 10 absolute over a reference. Form the ratio and solve the problem. And then here are some practice problems.